Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name's Ardil and I'm really proud to introduce another one of our videos. In today's video, it's another behind the sound video on the SLS Black Series owned by the one and only Shmi 150. I'm actually gonna be walking you around a little bit more about what's gone on, the actual near enough finished product behind the actual custom A-pillars that we're building, as well as the fact of the rear shelf. Now the two subs and the amplifiers are actually in the vehicle. So I'm gonna be showcasing how that's all gone in, how that's formed into the vehicle, and how we're gonna be installing that so you guys can actually see a little bit more about behind the scenes about what actually goes on on a completely custom sound system on a car like this. So if you haven't seen us before, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Other than that guys, I'm gonna be taking you around it now. Hopefully you enjoy. So just gonna be showing you guys the actual panel that sits on the rear shelf. So as you can see here, so this is the rear shelf where the subs and products are sat at the moment. I'm gonna be walking you around that in a little bit and showing you exactly what the products are, but also how they've actually been installed. So what we've got here is the back of the panel that used to sit on the rear shelf. So what this is, is a skins three mil layer, it's acoustic soundproofing, basically stopping all your resonation and rattles that you're gonna be getting from factory panels in the vehicle. However, also what it does is it reduces a little bit of the road noise. So that panel actually used to sit covering the subs and the amps, which again, I'll go through it in a little bit. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button in the link below. But this is the panel that you actually see when you're sort of inside the vehicle. Obviously that's not touched at all, it's just acoustically soundproofed on the back of it. What I'm gonna be doing is talking you now inside the vehicle and going through exactly what these products are and how they've been installed. So looking at the custom A-pillars a little bit more carefully here. So what we've got is the Audison Thesis tweeter in the silver mounted into our new custom A-pillar. As you can see here, how it forms around over the dashboard and it sort of blends in really, really nicely into the dash as well. So the factory tweeter housing was actually right in that corner and what it's done is actually formed over that so there's no fake grill or anything like that in that bottom corner, which blends in really nicely. It sits on top of the dash. Obviously it's yet to be retrimmed, but we wanted to show you guys in this stage how things look behind the scenes. Obviously, Shmi 150 at the moment hasn't chosen whether he wants to go for the silver Audison Thesis tweeter or for the black Audison Thesis tweeter. So let us know, comment below, what do you think you should do? If this was your car, what would you do? Would you have the silver on display or would you go for the black to make it a little bit more stealth? However, obviously in the car as stock, what we've got is this black, but yeah, we also have all these silver accents as well. So. The silver does sort of work. Also, you've got silver accents all in this panel, which is obviously removed at the moment, but it does showcase what can be done. It looks really smart in the silver and it does give a little bit of a contrast away from that black uh, Alcantara that we're gonna be putting on to cover everything. But we want to show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes about how one of them are built. So in our previous video, you've actually seen the fiberglass resin being put together and actually we're launching a full video later on uh, showcasing the full procedure of this. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and you know you can stay tuned and see the finished product as well. But we wanted to show you that, but the main thing that we're gonna be focusing on today's video is this lot at the back. So as you can see, we've got two Audison Prima 8 inch subs mounted in custom boxes. And then we've got the three amplifiers that in the previous video you saw on the floor now are all carefully professionally installed. We've still got a little bit of the wiring work to do, but a lot of it is done. As you can see, all the cabling is really, really neatly run over into the amplifiers then we've got all our fusing so and then also we've got all the amplifiers linked together so we've got the ap4d at the front here then we've got the ap1d towards the back and then on the left hand side there behind the sub just there we've got the brain of the system so that's the ap4.9 which i spoke spoke about more in a bit more detail on the previous video so we've got three amplifiers, a four channel, a four channel and a one channel, basically nine channels of amplification. And then the 4.9 has the nine channels of processing power. So when it comes to finishing up the install, I'm gonna be correcting all of the sound outside from the processor into a computer basically. So I'll plug in my computer and I'll be able to tune and customize everything in a lot more detail. As you can see, obviously all these parts all need to be removed because if you've got a fuel tank underneath there, you've got loads of stuff that manufacturers need to access, like the module back here. One of the key things is we don't want to get in the way of manufacturer wiring, even though we're adding, our, adding in a lot of kit here. So as you can see here, we've got factory bolt position. So we're not drilling any new holes. So these two actually weren't used at all. So as you see, there's one left and we've 
made a little L bracket here to basically allow the subs to mount to it. And then the actual amplifier is mounted on, you see the little cut there, that's a little step. So the amplifiers are all mounted to there and sort of wedged in, but also secured in between the two subs. So we're using factory bolt positions to actually mount all of our kit into the vehicle. So there's no, uh, in, this, in this case, no um, extra drilling holes, but also every install when we spec a system, we'll go through all of that if there is anything needed in terms of drilling new holes. But we can normally get around it by building brackets and installing them to such a high standard. So as you can see, all the cables are really neatly installed. So we've got distribution blocks for the powers and also the earth cables for all three amplifiers. Everything's really, really neat. Then we've only got one cable which is run up here from the actual battery in the front. So that's just a little show you exactly how it's actually all mounted in the back shelf because that shelf that we saw earlier in the video, that's actually gonna be completely hiding all of this. So you're not gonna see any of it ever again. And that's why we wanted to showcase exactly what goes on behind the scenes, the amount of time and effort that goes into building these boxes. Even though all of this is never gonna be seen, just look at the way the wiring's been done. Look at the way the sub boxes have been designed. They've even been carpeted, they're painted and then carpeted. It's one of those things, it's never gonna be seen, but it's one of those things that we wanna take every install to the next level. We wanna set levels. We wanna be the best in the industry, and we are. So if you wanna have any install done by ourselves, you know exactly what to do, drop us a line. Oh, we're on Instagram as well. You can drop us a line on there, but also come visit us. See what our, what our studio is like. You can see our YouTube area. You can also see where your car's gonna be worked on plus our designated showroom to showcase these products in a bit more detail. So as you can see here, we've got the custom A pillars and they're forming really nicely. We've just got to retrim them in Alcantara. And then the sub boxes and amplifiers are all in. So now the next step is actually putting your car all back together now and installing the Android Auto system, which is supplied by Nav TV. So if you want any Android Auto or Apple CarPlay system or all reversing camera modules, you know exactly what to do. Their link will be in the description below. And they're a company called Nav TV. Chris is the main guy there, really, really good. He supplies us with all of our interfaces, really impressed with everything. And if you want any of this gear shipped over to you, you can go over to the 4Car Audio website, which is a UK distributor for Audison and Hertz. However, this is an incredible bit of kit that's going into this car and all obviously professionally installed too. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. You've seen a little bit more behind the scenes footage on the SLS Black Series, which I know you've all been asking for. So now you've seen how the custom A pillars are actually gonna look behind the scenes, behind the Alcantara one that goes on. And also you've seen how the sub boxes have gone in, how the amplifiers sit inside this vehicle. So it's loads more detail going in on videos like this. So stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and it'll keep you updated on future videos. But also we're gonna be doing plenty more content on the SLS Black Series install. So I know you guys have been asking for it. So that's exactly what we're giving you guys. We're actually gonna be launching a full video to show exactly the techniques used in building custom A pillars and products like this that go into a completely custom sound system installed to the highest possible installation standards. So thank you very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.